what does a progressive financial system look like? And I want to hear what some of you think. Who thinks, for example, that we should ban banks from creating money? Control over how money is created and what it's used for is it's a democratic issue. You currently have the banking sector, profit-seeking banking sector, you know, not accountable to anybody other than themselves, who are creating up to 200 billion pounds a year of new spending power and deciding where in the economy that goes. Monetary reformers believe that that entire money supply should be for the benefit of the public and should never be created by a private organisation as debt. Democratising the money supply, uh, what that means is putting the power to issue and allocate money back into the hands of the people. Bank of England tells me that we raised $14 trillion in a year to bail out the banks. That's the way to change what we have. Take all power and all freedoms away from the people and collect everything into the hands of one small group with absolute power. What's been interesting out of all this, I suppose, is the question of democracy that's been opened up very starkly in Europe, that, that you have a government of bankers essentially imposed on you. It's bankers who more or less got us into this mess, and then you say, OK, bankers are the people who are therefore going to get us out of it, and incidentally they're going to run your, your country now. There's, there's a serious question of democracy that's opened up here. By the way, the banking crisis drove more than 100 million people back into poverty. The mortality statistics of people who go into poverty rise hugely for a whole range of reasons. So the banking crisis isn't just about becoming poorer, it was about killing people as well. Time and time again over the last 30 years we've seen uh, private debts being transformed into, into public debts and um, the, ultimately the price of that debt is paid by, uh, by the public in the, in the debtor country. So what we're left with is a financial system since the early 70s that has no fixed exchange rates, that suddenly has increasingly open financial borders, that has central banks having to manage without having any control because there's nothing here where the gold used to be. Chaotically, they have to ease quantitatively. They have to lend as a lender of last resort. Throughout history, monetary systems were designed to give the dominant international power an advantage. And this power is fiercely defended and expanded on. And I flee in terror from an incredible foggy man. An American flag is burned at the height of the demonstration. Both President Johnson and Francisco Franco were vilified. A new law in public protest added strain on Spanish-American relations. Order in the car! Order in the car! I want Americans and all the world to know. Come on, fire! America has no regard for conventions of war or rules of morality. Objection overruled. The power to create money is so, you know, so powerful. Um, you've got to be very concerned about who has that power.